In regards to Q, you mentioned also um, at some point, obviously, Plasma KDE is going to drop X11 support one day. We don't know when, but one, one day. Yeah. Would it happen... He, I don't know, maybe this is just like, you, you can't really answer this yet because it's not really sure, but would that happen because Qt is dropping X11 support or do you see it happening before that time? It will probably happen before that time because Qt's got little maintenance over burden with maintaining X support because mm -hmm. the, the platform abstraction is really quite good. I mean, they've got 14 platforms, I think, that Qt can, can, can uh, run on. So, when you've got that many, having that one extra one is not slowing you down in any way. Anyway. Right. And it doesn't need any changes. It just works for now. And whilst they have people using it, they're not going to drop it. Mm -hmm. So, they're not going to drop it before us. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Right. So, 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 so from, from, from that point of view, I think you know, we'll, we'll end up dropping things first. Mm -hmm. How we drop things is also not decided because it's probably not going to be we support it and then we don't. It's going to be either we start dropping some specific functionality um, on X11, like saying, okay, you've got X11, but uh, you can't disable your compositor anymore because that's an annoying code path to try and maintain that and Wayland. Um, or it would be this part is for a uh, fork of Quinn, I have two versions of Quinn, one which is maintaining, one which is stuck on a, on a different mode in a different repository, and you download one of two different repositories. Um, that's on the cards. So it, it's probably going to be a slightly slow, gradual thing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, eventually it's going to happen. Well, because it does hold us back. You've already taken the first step with Waylon now being the default. So it's already yes. at that point where a lot of people... Unless you actively know, like, the difference between X11 and Wayland and why you might want to run one over the other, like, most people are probably... I know, generally, um, most people are running Wayland at this point. I think it's... it's At least from the, the polling that I've done, like, I had, like, 10,000 people answer the poll I had, and it was, like, 55-45 with Wayland just ahead. Uh, but it might be skewed with my audience, maybe, but it's so, definitely, definitely close. So in our metrics downstream, mm -hmm. we've got, um, before Plasma 6, we were only at 20% Wayland. Wow. 30%. Um, GamingOnLinux.org has stats where Wayland's only on the 20-30% as well. Mm -hmm. That's rising. I know for, for us, I know our metrics, we've, we've jumped up to 35% uh, quite quickly. And as those other distributions are going to hit, that's going to hit, that number's going to jump. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's relatively low. Be interesting to see Gnome's numbers, because you'd expect that to be much, much higher. Well, they've been Wayland default for a much longer... I don't know when the project <laughs> went Wayland default, but Fedora went Wayland default, like, way before it was ready like four, four or five years ago like it actively you like things were just broken like you couldn't screen record back then <laughs> like basic things oh. just didn't work but fedora they do things when fedora wants to do things like fedora was shipping system d the first distro they were the first ones to do it they, they were the first distro to ship pulse audio like <laughs> fedora does fedora what fedora wants to do <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> and so I uh, never was planning on dropping X11 support, which they, is a brave move. They had to step back away from that because their, uh, their, their whatever team it is, I don't remember what it's called. They were like, um, no, you're not doing that. You can stop shipping it. You can stop shipping the package, but you have to have an X11 package in the repo. That's what they're at right now. Okay, I mean, I, I don't see what we gain, what they gain from, from, from rushing that, because mm. and if you change your default, you've made a statement. Mm. You, you're going to have people twitching, and there's already a path in that direction. Trying to rush things is only going to get people more infuriated rather than more excited. Mm -hmm. And if people are infuriated, they're going to push back more. So I, I think it's 
bit of a shooting in the foot. But it has their prerogative. So, I mean, I'm, I'm proved wrong a lot of the time. So, maybe I'll be proved wrong again here. So, I don't, we'll see what happens. I mean, they switched to Wayland before I thought it was a good idea. And they got good results out of it. Because mm-hmm. other people are more confident. Because, I mean, they don't see all your, how, how your meat is made, as it were. So... Mm-hmm. I think if, in the long run, Fedora is right. Like, I don't think any of the changes they've made have been wrong. Okay? They swapped System D, they swapped Pulse Audio, swapped Pipewire, like, they swapped Wayland. All of these changes, long run, are correct. It's just yeah. when they do it, you know, it's it's just maybe a touch too soon. I, I think with the dropping Wayland stuff, like, we both know there are actual legitimate problems that still exist in in the Wayland session. Um, I've covered plenty of stuff, whether it be related to, like, this is a, it, it, the, the dumbest, the dumbest protocol discussion. I don't know how it's gotten so many comments. Like, having window icons and have, like, a protocol to set window icons. It has, like, 500 comments on it now. I don't know why it's such a, a, a insane protocol. Um, but there's, there's other things, like, um, what is it? The, uh, the, the VR protocol. Um, um, yes. The one that GNOME doesn't support, that I'm blanking the name on. DRM lease. That one, yes. Like, there's things like that that still aren't properly dealt with. It's dealt with everywhere no. else, except and, GNOME, but... And, and accessibility, which is also... Absolutely, yeah. Quite. A, I mean, for, for, for a lot of people, not an important thing at all. For some people, the most important thing in the world. Well, also, accessibility is not like a, a one-size-fits-all thing. Like, I, I had a guy... I brought this guy up a bunch of times, but I had a guy on the other time, uh, the other the other week... He has, um, like, perfect hand movement, but his vision is very impaired. So he runs Plasma at, like, he uses, like, the, the desktop effect, like, zoom thing. And he runs it at, like, 1600% zoom. And he's a game developer. Like, he, he develops a game in Unity at, like, doing that. I think he swapped back to Windows now because he had some other unrelated issue. But, yeah, like... That is great for those people, but then there's the whole issue of screen reader support and having the global hotkeys working with that. And I know there's the global shortcut portal now, but there's not really anything that's using it. And I don't think GNOME has their shortcut portal implemented yet. So it's like this weird... There's a, there's a solution that is there. It's just the piping to the solution is not yet in place. And I, yeah. I don't know if... Does the, um, the, the KD portal have an interface for the... Um, the shortcut portal yet? Yeah, yeah, we we did, we did that first. Okay, okay. Um, but we still don't have that many things using it. So <laughs> my understanding is zero. I don't think there's uh, anything it's actually. I mean, uh, it's definitely one. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, one, sure. Uh, it's, it's not really selling it, is it? No. Um, I mean, ultimately, at some point, we need to bridge our APIs to your APIs, and then we bring in all of these applications for free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because, I mean, as these portals become for more niche, more and more niche cases, there aren't going to be that many things using them. But mm-hmm. the things using them are going to be important. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I think what... <sighs> Accessibility is still a big one that needs to be dealt with. I think that's the, like the last really like fundamental thing. But then there's a lot of like rough edges that need to be resolved as well. Like the the rough edges, I think we're going to be dealing with like well into like Plasma Seven. That I I don't think it's going to be resolved quickly. Yeah, I, the discrepancy between should Wayland accommodate what application needs or should applications rewrite themselves yeah. based on Wayland? And that's always a grey area which needs to needs to be met with compromise. And that, right now, that compromise doesn't exist. I think where we're really going to see things heat up is uh, when Red Hat fully gives up on X11, which they are scheduled to do with at 2032 that's where that's their last that's where their last release that ships x11 is going to go eol after that point they are full in on wayland so yeah (laughs) 
I said your clock is ticking. Yeah. Oh, I better stop hanging around on podcasts and do some work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>